I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo IdeaPad 3 the exact model is an IdeaPad 315 IIL05 the model name is an 81WE and in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can open it up and how you can clean up the motherboard clean up the fan system the heatsink and repaste your laptop if yours is running hard and you just want to open it up and clean it because it's been a while that you haven't done that and you're supposed to do your own cleaning and repacing once every year, year and a half, depending how many hours a day you use it. This is not a benchmark or a modification. This is just a simple repaste and cleaning that is supposed to be done. It's just it's like having a car and you don't want to do your oil change. All right. So I'll go with over the tools that I use. Every tool that I use is going to be in a video description in case you want to purchase yours. Tool number one, a good high quality alcohol. 99%, 98% isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol. Second one, it's a workshop towel. You need one sheet of the workshop towel. And the reason for the workshop towel over the microfiber towel is that once you put an alcohol on the workshop towel and you want to clean the capacitor, the motherboard, the CPU, this will rip apart before damaging the components. Uh, unlike the workshop microfiber towel that they can get uh, tangled around the capacitors and they can damage the motherboard. So that's why I always say use the workshop top. A screwdriver set. I fixed the screwdriver set. I like them really. They are really good screwdrivers. We're going to be using a Phillips number one. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an inserting tools and some tweezers. If not, just grab yourself a guitar pick. Uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. And you need a used or new toothbrush that will be handy to have and with all this on hand we're going to get it started so on the bottom of the laptop you're going to see a whole bunch of screws down here there are two types of screws long screws and the short screws the short screws are the front end of the laptop here so go ahead and remove the short screws and keep them in one pile and remove the long screws and keep those in a separate pile so you don't mismatch them you don't want to put a long screw through the short screws here I put here just so you can focus. So we're gonna remove all of them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in the comments area. I appreciate that. Now that we removed all the screws, what you want to do, you want to grab yourself the opening tool, and we are gonna stick it between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there and then what you want to do is just twist it all around and you want to hear those big click sound that's what you want to hear do all in the front work to the side to the back corner to the left and the right side you don't need to stick the whole guitar pick about two or three millimeters that's more than enough and to the back corner there we go and you don't need to do the back end, but if you do want to go ahead, you can do it. But I will usually do the back corner and the side and the front, and then grab it from here, work it around, and it will release itself. So you can grab a toothbrush, take this one outside, clean it up. This is roughly a little bit dirty, but yeah. You can dust it up, wash it out if you want to, leave it for dry. And down here we can see the whole motherboard. This is a CPU, there's no GPU installed, only CPU, fan. It is kind of dirty. There's a cat hair in there so we're going to remove and clean it before we do anything we're going to disconnect the battery to disconnect the battery it's easier to remove the three screws that hold the battery in place one on the right and two on the left side so one right there second one right over here and third one right down here once you remove these three screws you can grab the battery and slide it towards yourself slide it so the connection will get disconnected right there next what you want to do you want to remove the heatsink so remove the four screws for the heatsink these screws they have a little c lock so you just pretty much want to rotate a few turns and then let it go and that's it now you can hold it up by the neck and bring it up and we can see that the pch chip which is built in the cpu chip there's no thermal pad or anything and the secondary die that's the cpu and it's kind of that you can blow some air through here. This one looks okay. To disconnect the fan, yeah, I don't like yanking on this cable. I'll put my fingers on the side of the jack 
and then I wiggle it around. I can try to. I'll show you with the tweezers. I'll put a imagine this is your fingernail. You put a, want to put it on the side of this connector, and then you want to pull it towards the fan. You can do it this way. There we go. Pretty much you grab the fan, the connector by the neck. All right, we're gonna remove one, two, three screws for the fan. You can use a toothbrush in here and clean it up, but you must disconnect the fan before you blow air through the fan. So, or you can just remove the three screws for the fan. Remember, there's a two short screws, one long screws. Bring it up, and then you wanna disconnect the adapter for the Wi-Fi, untangle them, zigzag them down here. And you can remove it outside, take it outside, use a toothbrush and clean it up. I'll take it outside, I'll clean it up and I'll be back. All right, I took it outside, I cleaned up the fan. And um, before we put the fan in, we want to zigzag the cables, tangle them right, right around here. Again, you don't need to do this one. You can just leave the cables loose. There's no problem. They're not going to do anything. They are isolated anyway. But if you are picky, then sure, go ahead and... Tangle them back around the neck of the fan. Bring them up. Connect the jacks. Bring it, align them straight over the Wi Fi connectors. And then you want to just punch them in. They make a tiny click sound when you push them inside the connector. All right. And then you want to put the connector for the fan. Slide it inside the jack, align the screw holes, and put the three screws. Remember the longer screws goes right where the motherboard is, and the shorter screws goes on the other side. Right, to go, we're gonna clean up the old thermal paste. We're gonna grab a little workshop towel and an alcohol. You're gonna wipe over the CPU. Nice random round. And you're gonna clean up the thermal paste on the heatsink. There's nothing left. And we, we can use a dry part to do a second pass. Make sure there's no dust particles or anything like that. And very important one, uh, thermal paste. A uh, good thermal paste is uh, essential. I use Arctic MX4, you can use Arctic MX6, or if you wanna go over the board and overkill, you can go with Thermal Grizzly Cryonaut. These are one of the expensive one and one of the extreme thermal paste. But for this type of laptop, you don't wanna go this high, it's unnecessary. And with the MX4, you get the same performance pretty much. Those are just for the high-end laptop. So put one drop on the main die, and that's it. You don't need to put anything on the secondary die. But that's a PCS chip, and they don't get really hot. And anyway, but if you even put it, it doesn't reach. So there's a gap. So align the screw holes, bring it down, and you want to cross the screw them. So cross the screw them, hold the heat sink, and cross the screw them, so that way the Thermal paste evenly spreads around the CPU. All right. Once you put the screws in there and everything nicely in place, grab the battery. You don't want to put the screw holes for the battery first, like this. First, you want to lift it up, align the connector, and push it inside the connector jack in there. And then you want to pinch them together. And then you want to worry about adjusting the screw holes for the battery. And then Put the three screws. Now that we have the screws in there, we are almost done. We have the bottom cover that you cleaned up. Put it on top and push the corners, the front, the sides in. Make sure you hear those nice big click sounds. If you see any gap opening, just pinch them together and that should cover up. Mm -hmm. Last thing is we just put the screws on the bottom cover. Again, I hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out to do your own service and cleaning for you Lenovo IdeaPad 3. Model 15 IIL05. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them 
as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screw.